What's up everyone, I'm Kyle, and this is another hot new hip hop sneaker review. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at James Harden's fourth signature sneaker, the Adidas Harden Volume 4. All right, so this might look like something you could find at a carnival, like some cotton candy or something like that, but in fact, this sneaker is actually inspired by Houston slab car culture. You know, if you're ever driving down the freeway out there, you might see those vibrant colorways and all those cars. This is what this takes after. Um, some quick notes, you have a textile upper that obviously blends from pink in the toe to blue around the heel, as well as on the tongue and laces. The outsole follows that same scheme with pink around the toe and blue in the heel. Um, the overall design and the aesthetic look of this sneaker might have some people thinking of Pharrell's Boost You Wear collabs, particularly these lines around the toe and the overall structure of the sole kind of lends itself to that. But this sneaker definitely differs because it doesn't have boost. The boost that used to be in Harden sneakers is no more. They've transitioned to a light strike cushioning. Um, and what that is, is it was introduced on the Next Level sneaker last year and Adidas is really running with it because it's in the Harden Volume 4 now and it's in Dame Lillard's signature sneaker. Um, to give you a bit of a perspective, I brought in the Harden Volume 3 from last year and as you can tell, it's just a completely different style. Um, not to mention the low cut boost as opposed to this chunky light strike cushioning. Um, some other, you know, compare and contrast here. The Volume 3 had a lot of bold Adidas branding. You got the stripes here, you've got this on the heel. You don't get that on the Volume 4. You know, you have the, the three stripes on the tongue, but that's about it. The minimal Harden on, on, the, on the heel there, but overall it's a completely different look. Um, you do have the four foot strap on the Volume 3. On the Volume 4, that strap comes over the tongue and actually locks you down a bit more than this pair did. Um, Weight-wise, they're about the same. The 4 is probably a bit lighter, um, and you might be able to credit that to that light strike cushioning. So, I don't think you've noticed much of a feel as far as comfort is concerned, but just overall aesthetic, it's much different. Um, and as I mentioned, this sneaker nods to H-Town's slab car culture, but there are some other nods um, to Harden's previous years and, you know, as a child and in his college at Arizona State, for instance. 106th Street here, that's a nod to where James grew up. And on the other side, it reads Hasa Yampa or Hasa Yampa, whatever, I don't know if I'm saying that right. What that is, is the freshman dorms at ASU where uh, James Harden says he truly became a man. In this particular colorway, the candy paint retails for 130 bucks, as do all of them. Obviously not for everyone, very vibrant, very out there. Not for me, but there are some other colorways if you're into a more toned down look, like a cookies and cream, barbershop, and then the pink lemonade joint. Uh, even during the holiday season, I think you could probably cop these for less than the $130 retail price, but all things considered, that ain't bad for a performance basketball sneaker nowadays. Let me know what you guys think of this Harden Volume 4, maybe not this particular colorway, just the overall silhouette especially as it compares to his previous models. Uh, I'm interested to see what you guys think, so drop us a line and stay tuned for some more sneaker reviews coming down the line.